Just imagine Cam Newton dressed in a Patriots uniform, running out with a team before a game, standing among thousands of fans as their starting QB. Imagine seeing that first throw to the end zone or that dazzling run into the end zone from 10 to 15 yards out in that famous or infamous Superman celebration for his fans, ranging one to 92. Then imagine all of what I said not happening at all. <laughs> Check me out. gentlemen it's the awful guy right of the awful sports news and today we're going to talk about cam newton and the patriots okay there has been news of the new england patriots having little interest in cam but it's more of others gazing the patriots interest in cam newton sports talk show host colin cowherd recently used the patriots 1991 scouting reports to analyze cam newton in the report colin spoke about bill's verbiage such as accurate rather than guy with a cannon can't be sloppy fundamentally he then went on to talk about the fact that cam is a 59.6 percent career passing completion guy so far colin cowherd isn't wrong when looking at bill's old notes one would automatically look beyond cam newton cam has thrown for 22 touchdowns only three times in his nine career he also has a steady dose of double digit interceptions each year and has a 60% passing completion rate only three times in his career. Recently, Cam revealed that he's healthy after being plagued with both an ankle and a shoulder injury. These injuries kept Cam from completing a full season and put him into an unofficial limbo with the Panthers. But as I said before, if looking at Bill's notes, one would automatically dismiss Cam Newton, but let's look at why it's equally important to look beyond the notes as well. Cam has thrown for 3,300 yards seven times in his career and has rushed for more than 359 yards uh, seven times in his career. And that's pretty amazing. He's also one time all pro NFL MVP and has made it to the Super Bowl. In a Bleacher Report article, what makes the Carolina Panthers offense so tough to stop by exact Cruz? Cruz highlighted how in 2015, the Carolina Panthers scored 54 touchdowns with Cam Newton accounted for 45 of them. Chip B. Cruz attributed this to not only a dynamic Cam Newton, but a run game he described to be as deep as the ocean. Newton, Cruz said, ran 132 times during the NFL's regular season, which was most by any QB in 2015. Steve Carroll also had great news about Cam Newton, calling him dynamic as well. During that season, defenses were so afraid of Cam Newton scrambling that they had to play the run on most occasions. This, as many NFL fans know, opens up the play action pass. 2015 was undoubtedly the best year in Cam Newton's career. Uh, the question is however what team is in a position to replicate the 2015 Panthers I have a firm belief that one who has reached the mountaintop can do so again that being said if a team was able to surround cam newton with talent he could be able to reach that mountaintop once again jonathan stewart had 242 rushes for 989 yards six touchdowns 16 catches for 99 yards and one td Corey brown had 31 catches for 447 yards four touchdowns six rushes and for 38 yards ted ginn had 44 catches for 739 yards 10 touchdowns four rushes of 60 yards ed dickerson had 17 catches for 121 yards and two touchdowns greg olsen had 77 catches that year for 1104 yards and seven touchdowns these were some of the players who surrounded cam newton during his best season headed by offensive coordinator mike shula the Panthers scored 500 points in 2015. To put this season in context, in 2003, the Panthers lost Super Bowl 38, but only after reaching that Super Bowl, scoring 325 points all season. One could say that it was the defense that allowed for such a great season, but the 2003 Panthers team that went through the Super Bowl their defense only allowed 304 points. Uh, in 2015, the team that scored 500 points, um, their defense only allowed 308 points all season from offenses. It's clear to see that the dynamic factor was Cam Newton. Now, will the Patriots take Cam Newton? Drum roll. <laughs> 
Hell no. The Patriots do not have the ability to surround Cam Newton with powerful offensive assets. Um, the Patriots, as it stands, have roughly $2 million, give or take, in cap space. So to say it plain, the Patriots broke. They broke. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. This means that they would have to trade their souls away or release top names to even come close to the Panthers 2015 season. Bill Belichick has a guy in Jared Stidham, a fourth round, 133rd overall draft pick. Stidham, former Auburn QB, is, in my opinion, still a project guy. He's a fourth round guy, so it won't be a total loss if his Bradyness doesn't materialize. He's going to sit behind Hoyer um, for a season anyway, unless he beats him outright. Stidham has great feet in the pocket and does have a bit of good pocket presence, what Bill Belichick loves. Bill will put him in a good system, just like Brady, and um, be able to nurture him that way. There is no definitive answer as to where Cam Newton will go. Um, the best place for Cam to go, however, in my opinion, say the Los Angeles Chargers. Right now, they have a QB in Tyrod Taylor. Tyrod Taylor was impressive at times with the Bills, but he hasn't been able to, to attain that starting role since. Cam is all that more talented, having a big arm, and dynamic running ability. Some are talking about Cam Newton going to Miami. I don't see it. If I was Cam Newton, I wouldn't want to go to Miami either. In sum, the Patriots are aren't going for Cam Newton, but Cam still has tremendous value in a heavily QB-laden NFL. Don't be surprised if Cam Newton isn't signed immediately. So with that said, where do you think Cam Newton goes? Yeah, tell me where Cam Newton goes, in your opinion. Like, share, comment, subscribe, go through old videos. Do all the things I like. i see you all next time. Peace. God gonna trouble in the water. What the boy, the boy, the boy. Cam Newton, Cam Newton, Cam Newton. Uh, Cam Newton just came out and said that boy done said that he don't want to go to no team who drafted a, a QB in the first round. And you know what? I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that. Cause that man saying he 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 bet on himself and he want you to bet on him too in the same way. Now now when I was young, we played dodgeball. See in dodgeball, the last person to get picked is the one that nobody wants. All right. So it's kind of the same way before the draft. But after the draft, or be or right, man, maybe right, right before the draft, somebody might say, you know what? We ain't gonna get the man that we want, and we don't want to give everything we got for that man and for the foosball. So let's go ahead and sign Cam Newton. Cause the boy he ain't he ain't bad, he ain't terrible. The boy better than most. He better than Nick Foles. That boy better than Nick Foles, and he ain't got no starting position. I mean, I mean excuse me, Nick Foles. He's starting. He might start. I don't know. That team all in the mess. Uh, but Cam Newton has what it takes to go beyond. So, it ain't going to be too much for me tonight. It's going to be quick. That's it. To the point. See, I was fast. You didn't know. I got dressed and came back. I was that quick. I was that quick. So, so where dad said, uh, 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 Cam Newton is not going to the, the New England Patriots. Because don't, he don't belong there. I wouldn't be there if I was Cam. I wouldn't even go. Now, they, they won't say Jacoby Bissett was there. You know, he's tall, athletic, black, strong, handsome young man. He like me back in the day. But... <laughs> <laughs> Peace.